Welcome back to the Mel Robbins Show. I'm Mel Robbins, and I'm here with Megan, who feels like she's barely a good mom, barely a good wife, and barely successful. She says she feels trapped in quicksand and is filled with negative self-talk. Dr. Judith Joseph is a psychiatrist who has worked with people in Megan's shoes, and I personally have written and produced and released two number one audiobooks related to this topic. And so, Dr. Judith, thank you for joining us. You know, you heard <laughs> backstage that Megan's dad, deadbeat dad, abandoned the family. Um, when you find and treat somebody in your practice, what are the issues that you often bump into when abandonment is on the table? Your reaction is very typical. You're blaming yourself. And children blame themselves. They think, why wasn't I good enough? Why wasn't I lovable enough? It's a natural reaction. However, when you carry that into adulthood, it can create problems for you. And I think you're acknowledging that. Mm -hmm. What are the typical problems that you see? Insecurities, never feeling like you fit in or trying so hard. And that numbing that you described is really anxiety. It's fear. Mm. And it restricts you because you're stuck in a comfort zone. You don't want to take risks. So you just play it safe. But guess what? That fear of failing at something new is a natural fear. Everyone fears failure. But if you stay put and you don't take risks, that's failure in itself. Mm -hmm. So you have nothing to lose. What I see in the way that you're acting is you are abandoning your life every day because you are not engaging with it. It's an old pattern to separate yourself emotionally. And in order to have the next chapter of your life be the most amazing chapter, we got to close that force field. We got to get rid of that barrier. And so the opposite of abandoning is engaging. And you already said it. If it's a form of anxiety, the numbness, mm -hmm. that keeps you paralyzed, action is the answer. And so we're going to do a little exercise right now. OK. You ready? I think so. So if you were a good mom, if you were good enough, what are, name one thing that you would do that you don't do now. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a long list it feels like. Um, help my uh, children to, to dream more, to, to you know, help them really envision their, their passion. Great, okay, so give me one specific thing that that would be. Would you take them to the library? Would you read a book? Would you sit down with them once a week and mm. explore something? Give me a specific step. Uh, probably would sit down and have them write and journal and, or vision boards or something that's the visual. Okay, creative. I love that. So you're going to create a vision mm. board with your kids, mm -hmm. okay? That is one step. And the reason why I'm asking you to take a step is because if you start taking action and engaging in your life, you will see yourself doing the things that you personally believe a good mom would do. And it's in the doing of it that your mind goes, oh, well, she's acting like a good mom. I must be one. And then this is where the five second rule comes in. The second that it's a moment to engage and you literally shrink and go numb, right? Because the anxiety is going to come up. Mm -hmm. You're going to use the five second rule to make a decision. I'm making a vision board today. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? <laughs> no, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I, I, you got to take the action. You have to. I'm yeah. telling you, there's no other way. Yeah. There is no other way. Seriously. Mm -hmm. This is how you thaw out from being numb. <laughs> you break through the ice right. one step at a time. Thank you for being here, Megan. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Judith, as Thank always, you. for joining us. We'll be right back.